Wizard of Oz star Judy Garland fought crippling drug addiction with private investigators' help, book claims. Fred Otash was determined to get Judy Garland to the other side of the rainbow. The claim was made in a new biography about Tinseltown's most notorious private detective, the fixer, moguls, mobsters, movie stars and Marilyn. It delves into shocking revelations from his never-before-seen investigative files. For the book, co-author Manfred Westphal was given access to Otash's archives with the blessing of his daughter, Colleen. Westphal, who first met Colleen at Otash's funeral, developed a close friendship with her over the years. Wizard of Oz star Judy Garland's younger lover wasn't surprised by her tragic death. She liked disorder. Otash, a World War II Marine veteran, died in 1992 at age 70. Westfall alleged to Fox News Digital that Otash helped the Wizard of Oz star briefly get sober. When Judy Garland filed for divorce from her third husband, Sid Luft, she was afraid to be in her home alone, Westfall explained. She feared that Sid might kidnap the children. So her attorney, Jerry Gieseler, hired Otash to serve as her bodyguard. He turned out to be her fixer, Westfall added. Life for Garland wasn't always marked by drama. In 1935, the performer known as Francis Ethel Gum caught the eye of MGM co-founder Louis B. Meyer. The 13-year-old signed a long-term contract and earned a depression-defying salary of $100 a week, or $2,200 today. But 15 years after she was discovered by Hollywood, Garland was spat out by the Star Factory as a child. She was put on extreme diets to please studio executives who would heavily scrutinize her weight. She worked excruciatingly long hours on set, using stimulants, or pep pills, to keep her performing when needed. A domineering stage mother ensured those pills were taken, and as an adult, Garland was unlucky in love. Meyer, whom she considered a father figure, eventually severed ties with Garland. The actress, who was a drug addict and alcoholic before turning 30, suffered a nervous breakdown, was admitted to a private sanatorium attempted suicide and underwent electroconvulsive therapy to battle depression, the book claimed. One of Hollywood's most bankable stars was kicked to the curb. In 1952, Garland married Luft, but the third time wasn't the charm when it came to her marriages. Less than four years later, she filed for divorce, alleging mental cruelty. Gieseler felt Otash would be a trusted keeper for his troubled client. At first, Otash was wary of being a babysitter to a fallen movie star. But Garland would be paying $500 a day, or $6,300 today, to him, it sounded like easy money, the book claimed. According to the authors, Otash was the son of Lebanese rug merchants whose life was marked by tragedy. He lost his father and only brother during the Great Depression prompting him to drop out of high school at age 16 to join the Civil Conservation Corps to support his mother and sisters. He went on to volunteer for the Marine Corps and, at the outset of World War II, fought in the South Pacific. Otash landed in Los Angeles in 1945, where he signed up for the All APD. There, he made a name for himself as a renegade cop before launching his own detective bureau in 1955, which, Thanks to his access to emerging technology, eclipsed his contemporaries, he served as a freelancer for the LA. Tabloid Confidential, Westfall said that a lonely Garland demanded that Otash move in with her. Fred Otash moved in, Westfall explained. And when he did, he soon discovered her addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs, so he took charge of the situation. Much to Judy's chagrin, he locked up all the booze in her garage and flushed all her pills down the toilet. She struggled with withdrawal. She had many, many sleepless nights, Westfall continued. She pretty much demanded or forced Fred to stay up every night with her into the wee hours of the morning. They would just sit in her living room, and he would patiently listen to her talk about all the trials and tribulations that she went through in her life. He knew that it would be good for her to get it all out. According to the book, Otash described Garland as a crazy mixed-up kid inside a woman's body, scared to death of living while killing herself with self-doubt, booze and those sh, why little pills. As Garland was heavily sedated, the book alleged that Otash was thankful a nanny watched over her three young children, Liza Minnelli, 12, Lorna Luft, 5, and Joey Luft, 3. The book claimed that Otash found pills scattered all over Garland's home, including uppers, downers and some pills he didn't recognize. But the late-night rituals paid off, Westfall claimed. 
It truly was beneficial, he said, when that thirty-day period was over. She was clean, and his work helped reconcile her marriage to Sid Luft, and they became good friends throughout the process. Fred had a great affection for her, he had even become quite attached to her children.